so the this field, the field with the great oak tree in it, I'm about to release the sheep into. They've not been in here for a good few weeks. And this is a field regularly grazed by sheep, my sheep, as you all know. Purple clover, white clover, hawksweed, dandelion, buttercup, sheep's parsley, self-heal. There's self-heal, there's yarrow, a baby yarrow. Loads of sheep's parsley, as you can see. More self-heal. There's a dandelion. There's another dandelion. So continuing walking around here, you can see there's a diversity of different grasses from the seed heads. More purple clover, hawk's weeds. There's a hawk weed, sheep's parsley, some dogs. Well, the sheep aren't going to be eating the dogs. All of this is here on this well-grazed field. And it was a um, neighbor topped all the thistles. So there's a lot of regrowth. And I'm going to turn the sheep back into here. Now, he didn't mow up here, which is why there's so much. Oh, there's some yarrow flowering. So there you can see that's a yarrow and that's sheep's parsley with a purple clover underneath it. So there's a, and over here, there's more self heal right there. So there's a really, really diverse sward in this field. So it's how you manage it is, um, and look, there's salad burnet. There's more salad burnet coming up. It's taken years to get that established in this field just because it's a slow grower because it needs to establish its root structure before it really gets a determined plant that can survive grazing regularly. So this field I'm going to turn the sheep into and there's loads of grazing for them and there's loads of diversity and there's dogs at the moment. So I'm going to go and slowly walk them through one field. We're going to walk through this field with the lime tree and weeping willow and the walnut tree. And I'll either get them to come through that gate or this gate up here. More likely that gate because they're all like running downhill. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just on the other side of this hedge and tree is the public road. This huge branch, you can see it's a horse chestnut branch, is squiggling around and is broken from up there. And it's hanging on by a thread. Literally, it's leaning against the tree. Here, you can hear a car is about to drive by. So the public road is that close. So I'm gonna have to do a pickup job on this. I'll fling the rope over this branch and attach the pickup truck to it and pull it out this way, away from the road. So when a wind comes, it won't go into the road. Also, that would ruin my fence. So I'm gonna have a fun kind of job to do. I'll video it uh, so that you all can see. It won't take any of my strength. It will purely be the pickups, pickup truck strength. Uh, and there won't be any dogs in the vicinity when I do it. But that's a job that needs doing no matter what my health is like, so that um, uh, I don't, the branch doesn't do damage to somebody on the road. So you can see the sheep cleaned off all the leaves. And uh, I will have to deal with that. Isn't that right, pup? Yeah, clever pup. Come on, dog. Let's get the sheep. I'm going to open this gate. This is where all the yos are. You can see they're all relaxing up there under the lime tree. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Woo! Woo! Atta girls! Come on, babies! <laughs>
Hey, come on. Atta girl. Come on. Come on, Crystal. Atta girl. Good girl. There we go. The whole flock is here. Okay, now I'm going to walk them through the field. Hopefully they'll keep with me. And, um, oh look, the alpaca have galloped all the way ahead. They know exactly what's going on. The alpaca have galloped to the other gate that I left open. Come on, girls. Maybe I don't have to tell them anything. Maybe they already know. They see the alpaca ahead. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is how to herd sheep, I tell you. You're doing much better, aren't you? Here, Feather. How are you? A little bit. Hey, Spot Nose. Yeah, they've all galloped into the far field. They saw the gate was open. The elderly ladies are all walking with me, keeping me company. Oh, and pushing me off the footpath. This is their path along here. So I've been pushed off of it by a little bit. No, don't stop. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, a little bit finally decided to catch up. Hey, Ebony. How are you with your fuzzy back? This is Ebony, and in front of her is a little bit because she only has a little bit of white. Oh, this is excellent. This is called easy farming. There we go. Loads to eat. The alpaca are already browsing lower branches of the oak tree. Ah, oh, this is excellent.